Next, we go to Haley Higgins in southern Utah, where she has been tracking the Vail West fire since last night. Haley, what's going on down there? Yeah, well, I'll show you. This fire started about 6.30 yesterday. You can see behind me here, this is one of the buildings that is still smoldering. This is an outbuilding. It looks like some sort of a hay barn that is still smoldering has been since yesterday. Now, this fire is still 0% contained. It was too fast for firefighters, though, to save one home. The Barlow family lived here just a couple of years in Western Veo. They love the seclusion and the beauty, and now their home is just a pile of burnt debris. Now, we were there when the parents took their children to see what the fire took away while they were gone. We really have to come and look at it in order to let it go because it's accepted that it, it is gone. Now, the family is just thankful that they weren't home at the time of the fire, and they did find that their dog, some cats, and most of their livestock, they did make it out alive. Now, this is a live view here of a homeowner doing what he can to control the flames. Uh, again, 0% contained at this point, but we haven't seen a whole lot of fire activity compared to what they saw yesterday. We've seen a lot of individual homeowners, though, doing what they can to protect their property from from this fire as it really starts to heat up and it is still a little bit windy and it is again very hot and very dry reporting live in southern utah haley higgins fox 13 news utah